I'm gonna go ahead and replace our front bumper. It's located on the front of your truck. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our six retaining clips running across the top of our radiator support cover. Just gonna use our trim tool here. Get underneath and pop these up. Just continue this process across the top. I'm gonna go ahead and just lift up on our cover here and remove it and set it aside. We're gonna remove our four 10 millimeter screws across the top of our grill using a 10 millimeter socket. When removing these screws, you wanna pay attention to the different threads on these here. The screws with the more coarse threads go on the outside because it screws into plastic. And then we have the more machine-like screws here that go in the two center because it screws into the metal bracket. We're gonna pull out our radiator. On each side, there are two plastic push pins. And across the bottom, there are retaining tabs holding the bottom into place. So you gently wanna pull out the grill, pop those tabs out, and then release the bottom. Go ahead and set your grill aside. Under the front bumper, on the driver's side, we're gonna peel back our splash guard right here from our wheel well, and we're gonna locate our fog light harness right here. I'm just gonna reach up, I'm gonna pop the plastic retainer out of the bumper. I'm gonna use a pocket screwdriver, put it into the top right here. We're gonna disconnect the harness. Now this harness right here is for the sensors in the front bumper. There is a red locking clip, so we're going to use our pocket screwdriver and push up on that. You want to go ahead and press down on our tab here, and we're going to disconnect the connector from that. It might be easier to pop this retainer off here, slide it off like that. Now our fender well liner fits into a plastic locking tab here. So we're simply going to pull that out and away. We're going to do the same for the other side. Now underneath here, we have three 18 millimeter nuts on the bolts supporting our bumper. This is on the driver's side. We have three more on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and loosen these nuts. With those three loose, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen the three on the other side. Now with all six nuts loose, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the nuts on the passenger side and keep the driver's side still secured. Now this is probably gonna be a two person job. We happen to have a jack that we're gonna try and use to assist me in lowering this bumper as it's pretty, pretty awkward. It's not super heavy, but it is awkward to handle. You also wanna be careful when doing this here because we still have our fog lights and all of our sensors attached to the bumper so you don't want to drop the bumper and start breaking other components. Now we're going to go ahead and loosen and remove the two lower bolts keeping the upper bolt in place. That's the last bolt holding our bumper. I'm gonna keep that nut on there, a few threads, and I'm gonna slowly just 
loosen our jack a little bit. And the bumper seems pretty loose there. This is the point where you want an extra set of hands if you don't have a jack to support this properly. Now right on the edge of our bump right here inside our driver's side wheel well, we're gonna go ahead and remove this 5 16 screw here or a bolt. Next, we're gonna use our trim tool and we wanna go ahead and open up this little door here to access the bolt on the inside. Go ahead and pop this button out. We're gonna go ahead and access Right on the inside here is a 10 millimeter bolt. It pretty much goes from our fender through into our upper bumper cover here. And it is right here. I'm just gonna gently pull down and then pull forward. We're gonna just connect our upper bumper trim across the front here. Let's go ahead and repeat this process for the passenger side. And go ahead and use our trim tool. Go ahead and disconnect our upper bumper cover here. Let's go ahead and remove our last nut on the back here. I'm gonna slowly work that bumper forward. Pull our bumper up and set that aside. Across the bottom of our bumper, we have 13 of these plastic retainer clips holding our lower air dam to our bumper. We're gonna use our trim tool. I'm gonna go ahead and bump this in here, pull out the centers. Go ahead and remove all these buttons. There's 13 of them. Let's go ahead and remove all of those. Right on each corner, there's a 10 millimeter bolt going through. This end is separated. Grab the manifold from the heat shield, slide it off. Slide the condenser hose out of your way. And it slides right out. Now that we have this part out, let's go ahead and repeat for the other side. Now our wiring harnesses here are attached to our fog light bracketry. They're also tied to our bumpers by these little clips. 
It's gonna be easier for us just to use our trim tool. Go ahead and pop these clips off and we'll just swap it over to the new bumper. Go ahead and repeat this process for all of our harness. Let's go ahead and remove our fog light assembly with the complete bracketry system. It's gonna be three 15 millimeter bolts, one here, one beside it, and then one at the top. Let's go ahead and loosen and remove those. We have six sensors in the front of our bumper. We're going to disconnect the harness here from the sensor and then we'll move the sensor separately and we'll do this for all six of them. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label the connector, one. The next one will be two, three, and I'll continue this down, four, five, and six. That way there when we reinstall, We'll know they're going from the driver's side number one and continue in that order with installation. I'm going to press down the little tab on the back side of the connector. Press down and wiggle that off. At this point here, we're going to remove both fog light assemblies with the entire wiring harness assembly. Remove this and set it aside and remove our sensor from the back side here. I'm just gonna use a pick, gently pry out and remove our sensor. Then we can go ahead and remove our bumper trim piece. And push in on the little tabs around the perimeter. Go ahead and work that out. Now that we have the trim and the sensor out, we're gonna go ahead and repeat for the rest of the sensors. Now there's gonna be four of these retainer tabs right here. There's one here, there's one just beside it here, and then we have two on the other side of the bumper. We wanna go ahead and pop these off. It's gonna pop a small pry tool in here, pry up, and tap with a screw uh, with your hammer. Go ahead and work that off. We can use our trim tool. Work this little button off. When you remove this, it's gonna release our fender liner little bracket here. I'm gonna repeat for the other side. On the other side of our bumper here is gonna be our license plate and bracket. We're gonna remove the two screws on the top, push these buttons out, and that'll drop out our license plate bracket. license plate bracket. We're just going to swap that over to the new bumper. We're going to get a reverse of procedure. Take your license plate bracket. These four little plastic push pins will fit through on the front and popping through. We're going to install our license plate screws through the front. Just want to snug that down. Repeat for the other side. Just tighten those up a little bit. You don't have to tighten them all the way down. Can tighten this down. Just going to install our retainer clips here.
Now on installing your sensor trim pieces here, you're gonna be looking for the little uh, plastic extrusions here. There's gonna be four of these that are set wide, and we have two of these that are set narrow. They're gonna be somewhat close together compared to this one here. And those little tabs are gonna fit into these notches in the bumper. There we go. Snap that into place. Let's go ahead and repeat for the other trim pieces. We're gonna line up our sensors and they simply press into the back. Go ahead and snap in. Let's repeat for the rest. And at this point here, let's go ahead and bring our fog lights and our harness up into place. Let's go ahead and bring our fog light up and into place. Now I went ahead and put some anti-seize compound on our bolts. I'm gonna go ahead and get these lined up. We have two on the bottom and one on the top. Now we're not gonna tighten these down yet. We just wanna get all these bolts started. Now our wiring harness, harness had these little retainer tabs. It's gonna be easier for me to go ahead and install that retainer button now before the fog light is bolted in. Same thing with the harness up top here. Could lock up our little buttons here for a harness retainer. Just gonna repeat for the rest of these here. I'm gonna go ahead and install our sensor harness here. And everything pretty much lines up in place, even though we had these numbered. We're simply gonna go ahead and line up the harness and snip them in one at a time. Let's go ahead and bring our other bracket and our grill insert into place. I'm gonna go ahead and get all of our bolts started by hand. I'm gonna keep these loose. Let's go ahead and install the other bracket on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down all six bolts holding this bracket here. Once these are tight, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down the rest of the bolts holding our fog light in place. I want to go ahead and install our lower air dam here. I'm going to get this lined up and we're going to start by putting in our 10 millimeter bolts on the end. Once we get that one caught by hand, we'll just thread it in as far as we can. 
We'll get the other side installed. Want to go ahead and install our plastic locking buttons here. I'm going to push in the base and then push in the center. I'm going to continue this process for the rest of the holes. I'm going to go ahead and tighten down our 10 millimeter bolts on each end. And once that's snug, repeat the process for the other side. With our bumper assembled, we can go ahead and bring this in. We're going to line up our studs. With our bumper hanging in place, we can go ahead and get the nuts started. I'm just gonna thread these down as far as I can. Gonna get all three of these on here. And once these are on, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat for the other side. And on the back side of our bumper where it attaches to the frame horn right here, you can actually see a dirt line where the bumper was lined up before. And what we're simply going to do is you can simply lift up on the bumper position that and we'll go ahead and snug this down. If you're unable to do that, go ahead and use your jack under your bumper. Once you have this snug and lined up, let's go ahead and tighten down the rest of our bolts here. Let's go ahead and install our upper filler panel here. So we're going to line this up. You want to go ahead and focus on the side right here where it comes up to the fender and underneath your light. There's going to be plastic tabs here that snap into our headlight mounting bracket underneath. And then there'll be two plastic posts that line up into your fender here. And once you get the two plastic pins popped into your fender, we're going to just follow along we want to go ahead and get our tabs put into our support down below here. And then we'll go ahead and install the passenger side just as we did the driver's side. We're going to go ahead and install our 10 millimeter bolts here that goes through the fender to our upper bumper trim here. It's going to install our lower portion of our fender liner into our bumper trim. With that installed here, go ahead and install your fender liner screw. With all of our hardware in, let's go ahead and install our cover on the back here. Press in the button base. Let's go ahead and repeat for the other side. Now that we have our upper bumper installed, we went ahead and checked the bumper alignment of the chrome part and it did line up nice. So let's go ahead and torque down our bumper bolt nuts to 70 foot pounds. And repeat for the other five. We connect our two connectors underneath. On the side of our grill, you should have the two retaining tabs here and two on the driver's side as well. And across the bottom, you're gonna have these plastic mounting tabs that needs to interlock with the upper portion of our bumper. Let's go ahead and install this here. Right here, before you bolt down your grill, you want to make sure that your hood release cable runs underneath. 
and I push our grill up into place. Let's go ahead and get our screws started. The more aggressive threaded screws go into the two outer portion or two outer holes. Get those started. And then the two fine thread bolts go into our support. Once those are all started, let's go ahead and snug those down. Just snug it down lightly. take our push button clips. You wanna make sure that this little plastic retainer here is lined up with the fender. Push it down into place, and we're gonna repeat this process across the top. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.